What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Just a quick video to go over something pretty cool. Again, this channel is not only tech, um, luxury tech, but also lifestyle. So we try to bring you like cool stuff, right? So um, just a little video to um, help this lady out, okay, too, because uh, she produces some of the best soaps that I think that I've ever run across. Um, these are called homebrew soaps. And if you're a beer fan, then you're really gonna like them. Also, they just are have, like have amazing smells. They really, really do well on your body. So they're good for your skin. They're all natural. Let's just deep dive into them and take a look. So, again, if you're a beer fan, I put up some growlers here, a little bit of fall scenery because we've got a little combination of both in these here bars of soap. So we've got that these are actually made from um, beer. So there you go. These are beer soaps. And this one happens to be a New England IPA. So if you're a big IPA, Indian Pale Ale fan, then why not have it in your shower and smell like an IPA, right? And your boss might be like, have you been drinking today? Oh, it's 7 a.m. I just got out of the shower. Boom! You're going to smell like an IPA. Hopefully your breath doesn't, but I'm not going to hold that against you if it does. Uh, so here it is, homebrewed soaps. So, so buy a bar, give a bar, right? So this here lady... Um, produces these soaps and we've got <clears throat> autumn brew which smells amazing and we have a cool pine so as we get into like the winter seasons and stuff like that maybe you want to um, smell like a pine tree not the taxi cab varieties all right these here smell so good um, they lather very nicely and like I said they're all natural as we'll see here you can see on this label here now Again, this was her hobby, and she's turned it into a business. And I like to support American local small business, and that's what I'm doing right here with this here video. So go give her some love. Check out her soaps because holidays are coming up, and these would make great stocking stuffers or just, you know, a bundle of these. And I think your man or even your lady will be happy uh, with what they have to offer. And as you can see here that they're plant-based, <clears throat> right eco-friendly they're all natural um, cruelty free uh, made in Maine and they are um, disposable for the good for the environment right so that's that's good and again there's a little story about her and her side business and trying to turn it into uh, a sustaining business that that she likes and, and and does a great job of so I highly recommend them uh, of course you know I've tried a lot of different handmade soaps, um, <clears throat> and i got to say, these are at the top, okay? Uh, I've bought a lot of different ones on my travels, because uh, I like all natural handmade artisan craft stuff. When it comes to my beer, uh, I love artisan beers. I like go to breweries all over the place. I love artisan wines. Um, the special craft of being able to get that unique thing that's not mainstream, not mass-produced, not corporate, Boom. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Go support these guys. Homebrewed soaps. You're not going to regret it. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Check them out. You're not going to regret it. You come back and thank me for it and give this lady some support because she's awesome at what she does. Check the link in the show notes for where you can pick up the homebrewed soaps. I hope you do and I hope you enjoy them. And if you do, come back here and leave a comment and let me know what you think on these homebrewed soaps. Maybe I missed something that I should have uh, told you on here, but uh, hopefully that covered it all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.